Okay, we are experiencing a bit of technical difficulties with the console itself, in that the reset button is kind of broken. It, like, you can reset the thing, it's just a real pain ass to do. So, for the remainder of this review, I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be using the power button. And, uh, yes. Yep, here we go. Maybe not, because I can switch it off. I uh, can pick the control up on my feet. I'm going to play with my feet, obviously. Yes. Uh, where did we leave off? We left off on here. Raid on Bay. It's an initial game that's uh, just Raid on Bungling Bay. It's, which is a game. Uh, save on 13, I guess. And we start. Now in Raid on Bungling Bay, what you have to do is you have to fly around to blow up factories. That's basically the concept of this game. Created by Will Wright, you know, that bloke who did SimCity and The Sims and all those games. This game is nothing like those ones, because you have to blow up stuff! And you don't get to blow up stuff in The Sims, I don't think. The game you could probably just drone your Sims or something stupid. Uh, but yes, let's blow up the base. You just drop the bombs on them until this thing blows up. And yes, apparently I got the special. If I'll be honest with you, I seriously have no idea what that means because I've never actually got it before. There again, I'm not exactly a pro at this. I wonder if it'll give me a different weapon or something. Yeah, I was not anticipating getting the special because I hadn't even known it existed. But yes, we eventually land. The I've got no idea what that did, but apparently for a few seconds the uh, the landing pad was pink. I don't know, maybe it gave me more points than usual, I can't really tell. If someone would like to explain to me what the special does, uh, that would be uh, very nice of you. Six, uh, the bombs don't really seem to be any better than usual. See, it didn't even blow up the base that time around. So yes, yeah, so you're going to be seeing the blue screen a lot now because of the uh, power button malfunction. No, reset button malfunction. Road Fighter. I'm sure you'll know what Road Fighter is. For those of you who don't know, it is a racing game. It's a very good one, actually. Um, well, in my opinion, at least. Uh, play the arcade version of this, and for the most part, it is a lot more difficult with the exception of uh, the third level of this version which is incredibly difficult trust me it is and I'm doing really badly isn't that great if I could have a special on this game that might help but I don't think you have them in this, in this one but hey it's a very good game I personally like it I basically dodge all the cars or, or I don't know, get them to crash into walls Although it's kind of pointless though, seeing as you don't actually get any points for it. You probably do in the arcade version, I haven't really bothered to check. And you can collect fuel cars to fix in your fuel. Which might as well be your time gauge, because it constantly ticks down, no matter what speed you're driving at. And um, when you crash, it continues to tick down, which makes absolutely no sense. Yes, yeah, just finish the race here. Uh, oh, no, Konami Man this time around. Disappointment. Konami Man is awesome, but sadly he didn't appear because I crashed at the start. And I'm crashing a lot, and yeah, I haven't blown up again. Yep, you crash into the truck, you're dead. But yeah, that's a uh, Road Fighter in a nutshell. There are three other courses after this one, but I'm not going to bother showing you them because I don't have the time. Speaking of which, I've got like 15 minutes to record this in total. Feet! You may wonder what the hell feet is. Uh, it's 10 a.m. Um, yeah, given the game way there. Yeah, feet is, uh, as you just saw there, it is a hack of Yeer Kung Fu. No idea why they even bothered hacking it when they have like games like Galaga unhacked. Makes no sense to me. But yes, this is the same thing as it was before, except the uh, except your main character has been renamed to Law. 
Actually, I think he was called Lee in the original, but his uh, name has changed. And I'm doing, again, not doing very well. Um, the stage is different. In that instead of taking place in a dojo, whatever it was, this one takes place in the middle of a forest, it seems. But yeah. Uh, oh, and the health bars are no different colour for some reason. I don't really see the reasoning behind that, but uh... Yes, you go around kicking people! Yes, you have to... Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit awkward with this D-pad though, because half the time it only moves like one direction, not diagonal. Which is stupid! Yes, uh, moving on to the next game. We have a uh, Sky Destroyer, a game where you destroy the sky. Well, actually, no, you actually destroy planes in the sky. A bit disappointing there. Also, I'll point out the feet, the last game I played, uh, hasn't actually been dumped in any way, shape, or form, I don't believe. So, I don't expect to be playing that one anytime soon unless you have the multi. Unless you have a multi I haven't swear that game on it. Sky Destroyer is a bit like Afterburner, I guess. What you have to do is you have to fly around and blow up planes, and then you can eventually blow up uh, an island, I think. The movement is not perfect with this D-pad, but, uh, well, it's better than it wasn't the greatest. At least I can actually blow up a couple of enemies before I die. Oh yes, and now I died. So, uh, next game is... Is Space ET. Thankfully, it is not a port of the Atari game, but is rather Space Invaders, as you can clearly see. Now, um, yeah, I do have everyone know that will actually be aware that there was a such a port of the uh, Space Invaders. This version is slightly more annoying as the enemies constantly fire at you, and uh, you, of course, your bullets cannot pass through their bullets, which is kind of ridiculous. And slightly annoying. Other than that, though, it is the uh, classic as you remember it. Well, actually, the sound effects are a bit different as well. And there's colour, which is nice. Colour is always nice. And this, of course, you get film the one, which case probably didn't work as well. But obviously, this is a game, not a film, so you don't have to worry about it there. But yes, Space Invaders, I'm sure you'll know how to play this, so uh, on to the next game. Yep, it's still recording, thank god. Stargate is in fact not the TV show, but rather uh, Defender 2, essentially. Yep, you have the music from uh, My Titans Punch Out, for whatever reason. I think this game came before My Titans Punch Out, actually, but I could be wrong on that. So, uh, yeah, trust Nintendo to rip off another company. But again, uh, they did that with Balloon Fight, which sadly is not on here. Except for that the game's complete rip off of Joost, which is on here. Uh, but yes, Stargate, you just go in blowing up the aliens and dying quite a lot. As we said, though, that game's a, that game, uh, it's a lot easier than the arcade version of Defender. Star Force, I'm sure you've seen this on practically every other multi card ever made. It is a good game, though. Basically, it is a shooter, as you can quite clearly see. And in this game, you have to go around shooting stuff in space. Because they're aliens and need to be shot. Yeah, there is, you really can't describe this game very well, but it is actually a pretty good one. It's just not one that you can describe very well. And yes, uh, it's pretty good. I would say it's the best shooter on here. I mean, after all, you do a Gradius. And uh, there's a couple of other shooters that are very good, like Stargate. But um, this one's alright. It's not better than freaking Galg Wars. <laughs> At least my eyes aren't bleeding when playing this. But yes, uh, not much more you can say about this one really. You do get bosses and mini bosses, but I think this game goes on forever. So, um, moving on to the next game. Which is. It is a uh, Son Son. A game which I don't see often on multi carts. Sun Sun is basically uh, a game with a lot of flickering. I'm not sure what's up there, but uh, there you go. 
Yeah, now in Sonson, Son, you players, well, Sonson, Son, let's go Tenjuku, good luck. Yeah, of course, the uh, arcade platform by Capcom. And just like 1942, this is a port made by Micronics, who aren't the best porters in the world, but I oh know this one's alright. Just make sure not to get. Just make, just make sure you don't do that. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get very far in this game. Yes, you go around on various levels of platforms and shoot stuff! Uh, the A and B buttons do the same thing, in case you're wondering. Ooh, I want that. You know, if I get killed, or maybe not. Maybe I'll kill everything. Not much more to say about the uh, game itself. So moving on to game number 71, which is Spartan. Or Spartan X, rather. It's in Spartan X. What you have to do is uh, you have to go around punching and kicking people. Much like in Kung Fu, which is basically the same thing with a different name. And yes, um, one thing you might notice is that the hood is uh, slightly different and it's kind of glitched. Because most of it is uh, white as opposed to red and yellow. Although uh, one thing that does kind of look well, one thing that does look kind of interesting, which I might show you if I start sucking at it, is the health bars, which you might see in a bit. But apparently I'm too good for the <laughs> game for to show the life bars. Um Nope, I'm pinching everything. I'm pushing you all. See, you'll notice, uh, like, like, part of the turns coloured, which is kind of odd. Can't mind some of um, certain fighting games out there. And yeah, stairs magically appear from behind him. Don't ask me how that works. And uh, yeah, that's the first level of Spot Next, or Kung Fu if you prefer. But uh, next game. Is Spiver no Spelunker? Sorry, uh, yes, Spelunker. It is a game with presents. Well, actually, no, it's uh, a game with Spelunker in it, as you might expect. Now, in Spelunker, what you have to do is you have to go around collecting stuff like coins and bombs and stuff. You can, like, and you can die if you fall about half an inch because this guy is completely wuss. That said though, he will blow up stuff that's within that's like within three feet of him, so uh, he is brave. If incredibly weak. See, you can blow that up and he'll stand right next to it and, and just not care. It's also a very difficult game, mainly because it's very easy it is to die. So you have this ghost that appears and you shoot it. No, it didn't kill that time. There we go. But yeah, not much more I could say about that one really. So uh, on to game number 73, which is Spy vs Spy, where you play as a spy and you have to play against the other spy, as you can probably guess. See, you have versus Khan versus player and uh, it's on the training mode because it's a lot quicker. In this game, what you have to do is you have to like get the items before the black spy. See, I collected an umbrella for some crazy reason. Now I have a cane. And now I have a knife, which is nice, as I might show you in a bit. You have to collect stuff. Like, as you can see, I have a key. And here's the passport, which I... And yes, because I have the knife, I'm going to win. And I think I can exit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I will just die. And then both of us will be dead. 